is Bobby D. Morris. Welcome back to another episode of Pardon the Interjection. I am your host, Supreme L. I would love to give high honors to Prophet Noble Jew Ali and all the active Moors and non active Moors. <laughs> you will be soon. Here on Pardon the Interjection, we dig up information to divulge to the people and the upliftment of fallen humanity. And yes, we have fallen people. Fallen. Uh, we got a special guest today. And uh, we're going to get him here on the line right quick. Islam family, uh, we have on the phone that great brother up top, my big brother, Kujo Audrey L. What's going on, baby? I'm doing well, Sam. How you doing? I'm just trying to get it together, man. You know they um they're trying to uh, play hacky sack with me over here with the computer. <laughs> 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 but it's all G. It is all G, baby. What's going on with you? Um, yeah, I wanted to do something special with my brother today. Look, look, and then they, thank you, they give me the clap afterwards, isn't that something? <laughs> it's all good, baby, it's all good. Okay, yeah, man, I was uh, trying to um, holler at you, big bro, about um, something I seen on the internet here, and you know, as a Moorish investigator, that's what I do. Brother Ali Shakur dropped the video, the, the black versus Moore's debate. And you know how we you know how we do it, brother. We I, I'm just gonna go in and and, and, and go in and, here we go. Say that he's talking about Columbus and he's talking about Indians. 
Indians and all that type of stuff. Say right. mom, mom's the word, baby. Mom's yeah, the word. Yeah, basically. <laughs> mom's the word. Mom's the word. So don't get caught up in these in these um individuals um talking about more means black and mm-hmm. using that as a reference to show that more are black people. That right. that's yes. Right. More than black people. That's right, that's right, that's right. 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 Okay, so if they learn from the European that more means 
is black. Right? Mm-hmm. Then that means that's not an Afrocentric concept. Exactly. Exactly. And if that's not an Afrocentric concept, then they shouldn't be in it. Just like they say black's law is not an Afrocentric concept. That's the white man, and they don't use that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? But, but, the, but the, the European concept of more meaning black, they're going to run with that, though. Right. Right. But they're not going to run with the European concept that free white person means more. Right. Right. And we're going to get it. We're going to get into that, too. Right. You're going to definitely get into that. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Let's, let's go. Okay. Let's continue. Check them out. There's a very huge continent. You can take all the other continents. They fit inside Africa. For you to say that we are just Moors is a diss to all of our ancestors. We had known there were thousands and thousands of tribes that we had across this globe. For you to all say right, that we're just again. Moors is asinine. Gotcha. Okay, so, you know, there, there's no way that we're just Moors. How is it that we're not just Moors when black Moors means any dark skinned person? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially an African Negro. Right. As a definition. Remember, this is the European, the same European that said more means black. Right. Right, the same European that said more means black. Anybody with dark skin is a more. Right, right. Uh, by definition. So if any, if any dark skin person is a more, then that means if Malians are dark skin, they're more. Right? Mm-hmm. If, if Kometans are dark skin, they're more. If Kushites are dark skin, they're more. Mm-hmm. So mix me with the bullshit. Another thing y'all say is we need to wear the feds. 
or or and or we need to have the flag in our hand. So I challenge you this. I want you to take you, your Morris Science Temple, your Fez, and your flag, and I want you to go to Ferguson, Missouri, and I want you to defy the laws down there. I want you to. Okay, yeah, I was, yeah, I was about to. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Check out Supreme L. Morris American. <laughs> Check out Morris American, Supreme L. versus uh, Metropolitan District of Columbia, and that should give you an answer, Ali. That should give you an answer. Right? Mm. Now, this is not about wearing feathers and, you know what I mean? Right. You know, That's right. Okay, so if Jeff Scott was in Missouri that said black people students from Africa can't be citizens and I have no rights that the white man is bound to respect, why do you still call yourself black if black people have no rights? Mm hmm. And compare that. To all those people in Missouri who is there. And part in the interjection, compare that to the uh, South Carolina case, Sundry Free Moors. Yeah, there's black people. Mm -hmm. But that's not a reality. 
reality. You know, ask Sandra Moran, Eric Garner, all them people there who got, who got their ass kicked. Mm-hmm. Because they didn't have a nationality. Mm-hmm. And they had no line of defense when these highwaymen come attack them. And then again, in contrast with that, go back and watch Supreme Hell versus Trevor. There you go. There you go. On the Supreme YouTube channel. There you go. There you go. Where he was, you know, stopped by them. And they recognized his status as a moor and not having to have a license. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was one that they questioned. They didn't debate like how black people debate with moors. Moors say something and then they're debating moors. Mm hmm. For the record. They debated. For the record. He's gonna he's gonna say something next that I I really want you to definitely stab into here about three twenty seven three minutes and twenty seven uh-huh. seconds into the video and this is for uh-huh. everyone in the family and watch how my big brother break this down. Follow the police down there and say you a sovereign. I guarantee they put a rubber bullet right in your ass. They don't care about sovereignty. They don't care about nationality. If they cared about nationality, they wouldn't have wiped off millions of blacks off this earth. If they cared about nationality, they never would have went and imposed a no-fly zone over Libya and killed Muammar Gaddafi and his grandchildren, which is an international crime. They don't care about no nationality. Well, we, we tagged that already. We tagged that. We tagged that already. But here you go, right here. This is where... Noble Drew Ali has plagiarized work. Noble Drew Ali is just like some of these other people that sit on Twitter and never gives references of where they get their knowledge from. Where did Noble Drew Ali get his knowledge from? Nobody knows, but I'm going to tell you. Ed, 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 Ed. <laughs> now, where did Noble Drew Ali get his knowledge from? Okay? Hmm. of the Mona Sands Temple are esoteric in nature. Right? Mm-hmm. So don't compare it to anything that you're accustomed to. Right? Again, the teachings of the Mona Sands Temple, the teachings of Nobu Juali are esoteric in nature. Look up esoteric. Mm-hmm. And you know that everything that you've been taught about Moorish movement and Nobu Juali is from an exoteric perspective. Look mm-hmm. up exoteric. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, the teachings tell us that Allah, that people consider God or the Supreme Being or whatever, mm-hmm. right, is in man. black man, white man, orange man, pink man, whatever. Allah is in man. Mm -hmm. So for somebody to tell me that, let's go with the fact or the lie that Nobu Juali copied his work from some European, right? Mm -hmm. If the European is speaking from the perspective that Allah is in man, That means that's not you be Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Rashi 
Constitution, Rothschild, Jesuit, Black Pope, all that. Mm -hmm. Forget all the evil stuff that they do. They're esoteric. Mm -hmm. They don't deal with this mundane Freemason, you know, walk around, stand here, square the feet and all that stuff and wear a blindfold on and you can lie down in the coffin. They're, they're what they're doing. <laughs> sound right, man. That don't even sound right, bruh. Right? And, and we could use anybody. You know, mm -hmm. let's put Elijah Muhammad in the pot. Mm -hmm. a, a, a European pot, Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Use mm -hmm. it. Use it. You know what I mean? Like, that's not, that's not, that's not real. That's not a reality. Cool. You know, that's, that's that one individual's fantasy. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on to that. And, uh, I want to get to this one right here where he talks about uh, free white people or we ca why we call ourselves white. Y'all claiming y'all white. Y'all white. Well, according to the Naturalization Act of 1870, white means persons belonging to the European races. So now y'all are saying y'all are European? Oh, oh. Y'all niggas is agents. And you want to call me? All right, right there. Right. Okay. So, we which, which challenge, which challenge um, this guy Ali Hassan, right? We mm -hmm. challenge him to go get the logic story, right? And read the definition of free white person into your camera. Mm-hmm. And make sure it's not an online dictionary. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're looking for fourth edition mm -hmm. Black Law Dictionary or mm -hmm. earlier. Right. You're looking for fourth edition Black Law Dictionary. Henry Campbell Black, a European. And the dictionary that he 
know the fourth edition or earlier and look up free white person and put that on the record on your camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The game that is being played is that people have in order to in order to to, 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 to appear to intellectually defeat a Moor or the Moors or, or the or the, 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 the concept of what Moors teach, right? The individuals that are presenting the information have to use selective reading. Right? Right. Selective reading means that they can't put everything on the record that's in front of their face. They can only present what appears to be contradiction. So he's going to put out there more than one of the European. Jackson, bro, it's one thing, two things I have a discrepancy to with this brother on this aspect of the white person. If you're going to give a definition out, one, give it out in its entirety, not just the half truth because you only did half that, bro, to tell the truth. And then second, with the naturalization, there's two, there's a difference of naturalization act of 1870. That's when, that's when the European naturalized. Yep. And, and again, to, to, to put it on the record, just because, you know, people are going to come with their, um, well, I was trying to look it up, and I don't have a law dictionary, and, you know, I can't find it, and whatever else they're going to freaking make up. My that big they, brother. They <laughs> My big brother. <laughs> Yes. Alright. Black Law Dictionary, West Publishing Company, revised fourth edition. Free white person. A free white person, not just white person, like our friend reference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not just not just white person only. Free white person. So there's a distinction between white people. And free white people. Exactly. So free white persons referred to in the Naturalization Act, like you were saying, as amended by Act July 14th, 1870, has really naturally given to when first used in first statute 103, meaning all persons belonging to the European races then commonly counted as white. Right. and their descendants, including such descendants in other countries to which they have emigrated. So that's what he's using as a reference for Moors calling themselves white, which means we, we want to be European. Right, right. Okay? Mm-hmm. The definition further goes on to say, it includes all European Jews more or less intermixed with people of Celtic, Scandinavian, Teutonic, Iberian, Latin, Greek, and Slavic descent. Mm -hmm. 
includes Magyars, Blacks and Finns, and the Bas of Albanians. It, in, it includes the mixed Latin, Celtic, Iberian, and Moorish inhabitants of Spain and Portugal, and mixed Greek, Latin, Phoenician, and North African inhabitants of Sicily. And the mixed Slav and Tartar inhabitants of South Russia. Remember, this is free white person, not just white person only. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, this is why it's classified, it's characterized, it's stressed that white people, white persons, and three white persons are two different jurisdictions. White person applies to anybody that's European. Right? But free white person, this is in the definition, it does not mean Caucasian race, Aryan race, or Indo-European races. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> nor the mixed Indo-European, Dravidian, Semitic, and Mongolian peoples who inhabit Persia. Mm. A Syrian of Asiatic birth and descent will not be entitled to becoming a naturalized citizen of the United States as being a free white person. Mm. Mm. You see why he didn't finish that? You see why he didn't go into the four <laughs> So look, that that's gonna lead us into this last one right here, because I know we have to do another part two to this. Uh, this way he goes in and talks about etymology. Then I do an etymology on our ancestral language, which I've already done when I took y'all back to hieroglyphics on the Moor shit. Y'all are going by the English or the Anglo-Saxon, or the Caucasian, or the European, the same people that enslaved y'all, y'all are trying to decipher the word meanings from? Get the fuck out of here. Next thing we gotta understand about languages, intention in context. When I say a chick is bad, no, 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 Right, right. Right, bro. Then they're going to tell you, oh, yeah, disregard English because, you know, it's not, you know what I mean? But the audio do is coming in English. Mm hmm, mm hmm. The phone got English on it. Right. The shirt that they got says in English, made in China or whatever. <laughs> right, that's right.
down in the European concept of the Europeans were taught by Moors. Exactly. They're telling you that. That's not something what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Europeans are telling you that the Moors taught us. Show and tell us. They show and tell you. And, and again, Europeans will tell you that everything they know comes from Kenneth. Mm-hmm. Everything they know comes from Kenneth. Not some of the stuff. Everything that they know we got from when the Greeks or whatever went to there and learned Socrates, Cato, and the crew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're so-called scholars. Right? Mm-hmm. They tell you that they learn from, from dark-skinned people. <laughs> right, right. He came and taught people language. Right. He talking about. Right. Come out the cave, teacher. That's what you're talking about. Like, what do you mean? You're talking about Yakub experiment, then you're going to tell me that Europeans have some secret order that take over the world? You got a damn Frankenstein taking over the world? Right. Right? Frankenstein, Frankenstein all of a sudden has a sense now. Right, right. Foolery, man. Right. Foolery. Fool. Right? Man. But that's how people talk to fools. Mm. And then that's how fools talk. Right. Because right. they don't know any better. Right. Now, and they know that they don't know any better. Because if they, if they know better, there's no way that you're going to you're gonna put out a, 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 a lecture, class, DVD, whatever, referencing wars, right? Mm-hmm. In a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a in a warped context, but not put the warning on. Right. Are you, are you messing up the teachings? Wow. If I, if, if I do something on NOI, NOI is getting tagged. That's right. That's right. NOI people are getting sent what I said about them. Mm-hmm. If I say something about Iwapians, Iwapian people are going to get whatever I say. Right. Here it is. On the record. Cool me wrong. That's right. You don't call them proved up and wrong. You know what I mean? Rodney came on and said, he was a son of a religion. You never did no good in video saying no. That's right. Well, you know, people look at that like some joke or whatever. But he never rebutted nothing. Like, we're talking about, we're talking about people who want facts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who cool, that somebody could be a religion? And that individual will never, never defend anything? Did he fuck it? Did he act with us? Wow. Wow. And they want to make jokes. I want to do lectures and people still doing the lectures and stuff like that and, and playing around like, you know. Silly, like, silly. Like, being guilty by association is, is, is a good thing. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be guilty by association. Because, you know, if I don't tell you about the body, then you, you said you were, I was just dropping you to your mom's house. Mm-hmm. Whatever, especially if I got something to say about it, you're a complex. That's right. That's right. I, I can't help me chop the body. Like <laughs> that. That's right. That's right. And, you, and then and then you see people and then you see people get locked up and then you see these people who are teaching these concepts of nationality, sovereignty, blah blah blah. They're out. Right. Right. But the people who were helping that they said, Hey, get my card or whatever, they're locked up doing ten years or whatever. Mm, 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 mm. So we got a, we got a, we got about two minutes left on here, bro. And I, I we're gonna definitely get a, a part two to this show. Uh, oh, this is this is oh, this definitely. is enlightening, bro. Cause it's time for like off with their heads, bro. I'm gonna tell you straight, off with your heads, bro. Off with your heads. Like we're not we're not. This is not that time, and we're not doing wars. Exactly. Like, like we are gonna address you know issues that are are meant to confuse people from getting down with their birthright. Exactly. Like, exactly. We will address you. So put on whatever you want. You know what I mean? But know that there's more ones out here that will address your foolery and your hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't take it personal. Just stop the hypocrisy and get down with what's real. Stop the... Playing, playing with people's birthright. Stop the bullshit, bro. Stop and the bullshit. Like, and then also, too, to remember that the people who are playing around with this, it's their birthright, too. Exactly. Exactly. Uh-huh. This is your stuff too. This is not more only, more science temple only stuff. Dude, everybody's 
Okay, nation, that's my big brother, your big brother, our big brother, up top, Kujo Audrey L. Much love to my big brother. I'll be hitting you back in a minute, my brother, and uh, I'll Peace see you. Up. I'll see you on the second show. Peace and love. Yeah, yeah. Peace ah, it's always a breath of fresh air. Especially dealing with my bro. Uh, it's just time, man. Stop for the, stop. Stop the bull job, man. Stop the bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Enough with the bullshit. You know we moors, bruh, and kick it like that. And best to believe, we gonna definitely come at you if you keep up with the bullshit. You know what I mean? So that's gonna uh, take us to the top of this show, and we will be back for uh, a part two to this. And. Uh, like I say, don't believe me, go check it out for yourself and you'll be amazed at the jewels you'll find on your treasure hunt. This is Partner Interjection, I'm your host Supreme L. Islam, love and peace forevermore. <laughs>